Hi babes, for today's video, I'm going to be showing you my top 5 favorite brass dolls in the box that I have in my collection. I would do a top 10, but unfortunately I don't have 10 inbox brass dolls, and even if I did have 10, the other few wouldn't be my favorite. So I'm just going to be doing my top 5 favorite. So let's get started. For number 5 is Brass World Japan Kiyumi. This doll would be upper more in the ranking, but the reason why she is number 5 is because she does have yellow discoloration on the box so it's kind of hard to see but like it's just not clear and this is really yellow in real life this is like so yellow it's kind of gross but this doll is really gorgeous. I love the Royal Japan dolls. I just need her out of the box and then I will have all of them out of the box. And then for inbox, I just need Tiana in the box. She is so beautiful. I really love this color concept on her. I love like the teal with the red. It just really looks so good. The only thing that I really don't like about the Royal Japan dolls is that this freaking artwork is literally reused. Malin has it. Tiana has it. Like girl, where's the, where's the difference? is that I wish they made dolls like this today but they don't especially like Japanese themed dolls especially with fashion dolls but when's the last time you saw it I've never seen anything like this ever but I think the world Japan dolls are just such unique dolls and the only controversy that I have with them is Malin's name, which I've always talked about. But besides from that, I think everything else is just so amazing. And showing representation for Japanese culture because these dolls are supposed to be kimono dolls. I just love representation with different ethnicities and different cultures. I think it's so beautiful because it's always great to be represented in a doll. And with these, I just think they're so unique and so beautiful, each to their own. For number four is Bratz World Yasmin's Room Set. This doll I used to have as a kid. This is one of my most memorable Bratz dolls that I ever had in my life. When I was turning 19, I got her in the box, obviously for $80.98 and I have seen her sometimes come up and I have seen her go from like 100 to like less than 80 and her price fluctuates. I would love her out of the box. I think I would prefer her outside of the box than in the box now, but I don't really want to get rid of it, you know? This is what the back looks like. This isn't even the doll. This one is, oh, is it? Why is her hair different, girl? No, but this is the back of the box. This side, this one has some slight discoloration. This is the bed set. I used to have this when I first started getting back into my doll collection. I found this and this is the reason why how I remembered that I had this doll. In the mirror and then the little accessories. But overall, this doll just reminds me of like when I was really young. My grandma got me this doll, but I was super young. I don't even know when she came out. I don't know what year, but I'm sure like 2006 six or seven her face molding gives me that era but if i'm wrong if it's like 2010 i'm gonna be like bruh but i know it's not 2010 i think this doll is really gorgeous her and fashion show chloe give me the most nostalgia out of my whole entire collection just because i had those two as a kid and i also had formal funk runway nevra i don't think i could ever get rid of this doll just because she means so much to me i don't know i mean i would love to get one out of the box someday just don't know when and also the rubber bands in this box are disintegrating i see some ripping apart which really really sucks so maybe one day i am gonna have to unbox it but hopefully that's not the case anytime soon number three is my forever prized possession sweetheart megan i really really want sweetheart dana dana would definitely be like my number one if i had her in the box but she's just like really expensive this megan i got for my 19th birthday in 2021 and i got her for 75 dollars I think I drove like two hours. I don't really remember a faint memory that I have, but she is stunning. I'm really sorry about the glare. So if I don't show y'all without the lighting, can't even see it. So you're just gonna have to deal with it or whatever. Here's a closer look. She's gorgeous. This one is the original one from 2004, not the re-release. I don't really like the re-release. Back then, this doll was... $30. That's kind of expensive if you think about it. Like for back then, like back in 2004, like damn, this 30 bucks was a lot of money. Now it's like considered as cheap. I mean, it's not really, but you get what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I just feel like this was expensive back then, but obviously it's more expensive now. So 
I should not be talking. But here's the second outfit. I don't really like these leggings or these shoes. I think this outfit is just superior. All the jewelry. I love all the jewelry so much. This purse is so cute. And then here is the back. This is just like a tag that I used to put on my dolls to tell myself how much I paid. I really should start doing that again. But I love 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 this doll so much i love megan really want more megan dolls in my collection cheese for number <gasps> oh my god oh my god guys oh my god there's a spider oh my god oh my god oh my god i don't even know what i was saying it took me a bit to kill that damn spider now i'm like hot i had to change but <sighs> Anyway, I'm really happy to have this one in my collection, and I do hope sometime next year I'll get Dana. But this is Megan. Now, the last two are kind of tricky. Oh my god, I forgot to take it off. The last two are pretty tricky. That is because they're both so beautiful. But I've decided. For number two is... Forever Diamond Sasha. I got Forever Diamond Sasha this year in August, and I love her. I'm so happy to have her in my collection. I really want more Forever Diamond dolls in my collection as well. Sheridan, hopefully, will be my next purchase, or Jade. But Sasha is so gorgeous. This gorge and then her face is stunning. It's like one of my favorite face moldings. And I didn't even pay like what people even pay for for her. I think Forever Diamonds is a gorgeous line. I don't have many just besides Vanessa and Chloe and now her. Um, I don't have them just because they are really expensive. And also, I didn't really like them at first. Like, I did. But, like, I just, at the time, I didn't like dolls that were overhyped. But, like, girl, now I want them. Like, what? Jade is my favorite from the line. As y'all know, she is my fave. Sasha is also one of my favorites, too. And I'm really happy to have her in my collection. I would prefer her out of the box and I do hope that I get her out of the box complete someday But as for now, I'm still gonna cherish her in the box. This box is in really really good condition as well So I really don't have that many complaints or no complaints at all. Just that I want her out of the box, you know now for number one babes number one and y'all if you have been watching me for a minute now y'all know I love this one. This is the 2018 Hayden Williams Jade. I will always talk about this doll. She's one of my favorite Jades literally ever to be existed. I think this outfit is so gorgeous. And this face too, this is also, this is like my number one favorite screening. But Hayden Williams did absolutely amazing. And at the time, I thought price for her, which was being sold for 38 bucks, thought that was expensive. So I didn't get two. I would totally would have gotten two now, but this doll is definitely being sold anymore on Amazon. I got her in 2020. Yeah, I got her in 2020. Along with Yasmin and Chloe. I missed out on Sasha, unfortunately, because I did not like Sasha. But now I really want her, and who cares about Carolyn? Like, nobody cares, but... She's beautiful. This is also one of my favorite artwork. This is like the quality that I always look for in like the new brat dolls, and I know we're never gonna have this quality type of brat doll again. I love this face so much. Like, why can't the new faces look like this? Like, girl. But look how beautiful. Hayden Williams, I love what you did with this doll so freaking much. Like, she is just speechless. She is my favorite Jade that I have in my collection right now. Yeah, because I have Forma Funk Jade. If she was complete then she would have been my fave. But this one, this one is my favorite Jade in my collection. And I cannot believe that I thought like almost 40 bucks was expensive. Like, girl, be for real. She's quite dusty. Like, oops. But yes, babes, those are my top five favorite brat dolls that I have in my collection that are in the box. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. And thank you for almost 2.5K or whatever. There's so many more things that are going to happen in 2024. I'm really, really excited for the new year. New year, new era or whatever. But anyways, babes, like I said, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. 